Now we're going to learn a little bit about routing using the jQuery mobile router project. Uh, I recommend that you use this. It's integrated very nicely with jQuery mobile. It doesn't get in the way of jQuery mobile's navigation strategy, but allows you to hook into its events. So what we're going to do is fix this problem. When we go to each post, it always shows the same page. This is because in our index.html, we just have static content. What we'd like to do is have each of these links pass in some data that we can use to update this content. So here's what we'll do. Um, the first thing is we have to give this an ID so that we can update it. So I'll do that and I can remove this content now. And the next thing we'll do is pass an argument to the post. Now this isn't supported in normal jQuery mobile. Only by using the jQuery mobile router that's in the template project can we now pass query strings. And the way that works is we need to create a router object and attach it to our controller. So here we go into index.js. I'll paste in uh, some code. This sets up a router which is just a map of regular expressions to handlers. And here's how it works. We give a string which matches our URL. So it's hash posts with a question mark. And we're capturing any number of digits. So anything in parentheses will be passed as an argument to our handler. And we just map that to handler. And this is just any function in our controller. So we'll make that function. And then we just attach to whatever jQuery mobile events we want. And jQuery mobile router uses abbreviations. We're going to attach it to the before show event. So now we'll add that event. and it gets past an event and the arguments. So what we need to do is add in some blog data. I'll paste some in. And now we'll just grab the post based on the index that we got passed in the query string. So that's just so arg sub zero has the full URL. Arg sub one and subsequent args have the captured regular expression pieces. So anything in the parentheses. So any number of digits. Backslash backslash d is a digit plus is a string of digits. And now we'll just use jQuery to update that element. So Now, jQuery mobile doesn't use the HTML directly that we type in. So when I put in this HTML or any HTML in there, it turns it into a mobile app HTML based on its data roles and, and other elements and so forth. So when we update HTML, we have to tell jQuery mobile that we've done that. So the way you do that, oh, I, this is a pound. The way you do that is by calling its enhance within. If 
function. And we only need to do that whenever we update the HTML of a element. So let's run it. There we go.